Well, this week, Northern Livestock Video Auction held their 17th annual summertime classic sale here in Billings, featuring over 138,000 head of cattle and over 12,000 head of lambs. Joining us now is auctioneer Ty Thompson. And Ty, drought continues to dominate the headlines here in these parts. With that said, how did this week's sale shape out on all those classes of cattle from this part of the region? You know, the drought really has had no effect on, on what these cattle are bringing. We've had a strong market all the way through the sale. Uh, what I've really noticed about this sale compared to previous years is there's a real strong bottom in the market. There's not a real drop off in any one class of cattle. And uh, the only thing the drought might be affecting a little bit is these yearlings that have to come in the next two or three weeks. There's so many of them coming and the yards are still full. So you see a big premium for the later delivery yearlings, but the earlier delivery calves that come in September, actually we're seeing almost a premium over the October and November delivery calves. You know, maybe go into detail a little bit more on how those cattle that are for this fall delivery sold this week. You know, break it down for us a little bit. Well, you know, we're right in the midst of selling the lightweight calves, but on Monday we sold the middleweight calves, and you take a five and a half weight steer, we'd get them all the way up to 182 or three, lots of them in the mid 170s. You get to a six weight steer, uh, they'd be anywhere from 165 to 173. Uh, the, 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 year, the heifer calves were probably 10 to $12 back on average, so maybe a little less of a spread from the steers to the heifers than we have seen. We got into yearlings. We just had a tremendous yearling sale. Uh, those program yearlings, some of them nine weight program yearlings up to 170, eight weights uh, in the high 170s. The non-program yearlings, if they were later delivery, had excellent demand. The earlier delivery yearlings uh, uh, sold awful well, but there is a spread in delivery dates on the yearlings. The yearling heifers were about $6 back of the steers. And then these big Montana steer and heifer calves that we're famous for, we topped out at 175 on some 720s. We had several sets of replacement heifers weighing 6 to 675, bring all the way up to 170 a pound. So the replacement market was strong too. So for folks still out there in the country that have their calves and are needing to get those critters sold, uh, what's your advice as we uh, wrap this sale up and then look at the next one coming up? My advice is if you're short of feed and, and, and it, rather than sucking those cows down and trying to get to October, November and them calves probably aren't going to gain unless we get some fall moisture. These September delivery calves are not hurting anybody. You're probably going to sell as many pounds as you would as late October and uh, I'd get them on our next video for a September, early October delivery and uh, they're selling awfully well. Ty, as we look at the drought conditions across the region, if there is a silver lining, it looks like meat demand is still strong at the meat case, which is at least getting these cattlemen and women a little bit of money for their cattle. That's for sure. I'm not going to sit here and tell you we're getting our share of the beef dollar, but uh, beef demand is exceptionally strong and the calf market continues to get higher. If you can make it through this drought, we're going to see very, very good cattle prices in a year and a half, two years down the road. Well, we appreciate that sound advice. And for more information, you can always visit their website at northernlivestockvideo.com.